let's be honest. AI builder tools are everywhere right now. You've probably seen them on YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, the same setup every time. Prompt on one side, UI on the other. But today I wanna to show you a build that's actually a little different. We're going to create a swiped base dating app where every right swipe becomes a match and the match doesn't just text you back, it sends a short AI generated video reply of itself. And we're building the whole thing in Duolite. All right, so this is Duolite. What I like is that you're not dropped into a blank prompt. You can pick a preset depending on what you're building, a single page site, a modern web app, mobile app, or default if you're unsure. If you care about your stack, you can hit customize and pick your framework and language. If you don't, you can just move forward. So two quick power features before we start building. You can attach files or imports to your prompt. You can enhance a single prompt into something more structured and even import a Figma design. And Duolite has two-way GitHub sync plus native Supabase integration if you want auth and a database later. Also, you can add project rules. These are basically guardrails for design, functionality, or constraints before you start your chat. All right, let's go ahead and build the app. So this app is going to be called Don't Die Single in 2025. It's a swipe style dating app with AI profiles. For this demo, I'm using two starter profile images. So instead of generating the avatars live, we'll use these as the AI profiles. Then the fun part, the moment you match with one, we trigger an AI reply. Gemini creates the text response and Google VO 3.1 generates a short video response using the matched profile image as the starting frame. And it all runs through the Higgs field API. So the experience feels like you match with an AI character that can actually talk back through video. Okay, so here's the prompt I'm going to paste into Duolite. On screen, I'm telling it, build an AI dating app called Don't Be Single in 2025. Use these two images as the profiles. When I match with one, use that image as the input for VO 3.1, image to video, turn generate audio on, and use Gemini to generate the text that goes with the video. I'm also pasting the VO curl snippet and a quick guide for the Higgs field API because Higgs field uses an async queue pattern. So we need to submit a request, then pull status until it's completed. All right, let's go ahead and generate this. So first, Duolite is scaffolding the project. You'll usually see it do a few things right away. Set up the core screens and components and install what it needs. In my case, it pulled a few key packages. Framer Motion for smooth swipe style UI, Axios for API calls, and Lucid React for icons. And as you can see, it's already generating the basic app structure. Components for things like profile cards, the match flow, and the app shell. So now we have a working skeleton for the UI and logic. Let's go ahead and open the preview. And we've got the swipe feed and the two profiles loaded in. And the main mechanic is simple. When I click the heart, that's our match. The heart click is the trigger that kicks off the AI pipeline. First, generate a text reply with Gemini. Second, generate a video reply with VO. And third, show it inside the match slash chat experience. Before we test it, we need to add our API keys. Duolite makes this pretty clean. The project usually includes a .env file with placeholders, or you can also click variables and enter them there. So I'm going to paste in my Higgs field API key plus my secret key and then my Gemini API key. I'll go ahead and save that. And now we can actually test the match flow end to end. All right, so here's our moment of truth. I'm going to hit the heart with one of these profiles. Now watch what happens. The UI immediately transitions into the match experience, the AI starts generating response, and you'll see a placeholder while VO runs because image to video can take a bit. In my build, it's usually around 30 to 60 seconds for the video to show up. And when it finishes, you'll see the video reply appear right above the message. This is the wow moment. It doesn't feel like a chatbot. It feels like the match is actually responding. Now, one thing happened during my build, and you may see this in your own projects, is the API flaking out. I hit a Gemini 503 service unavailable error while generating text. Instead of manually fighting it, Duolite's debug flow updated the implementation in two important ways. It added a retry mechanism with exponential back off for Gemini, and it changed the flow from parallel to sequential generation. So now the app waits for Gemini's text first, then passes that text into the VO prompt so the video is more aligned with the actual message. That's a subtle change, but it makes the output feel more coherent. 
Now the next improvement, and this is the part that makes it feel like a real product. I asked Duolight to turn the match flow into a full chat interface. So instead of a static match modal, we now have a chat window that opens after you match, the AI sends an opener, and you can reply back and forth. Here's how it's structured. It defines a proper message type so we can handle text, video URLs, and who sent what. It updates the API service so Gemini can respond using conversation history, and it updates the UI so that when you send a message, the AI types, a video placeholder appears saying generating VO, and then the video loads and auto plays once it's ready. That's exactly what you want for this kind of experience, a clear UX while the heavy generation runs in the background. So here's what it looks like now. I match, the chat opens, the AI sends an opener, and when it responds, I get both a normal chat bubble and a short video reply right above it. Hey, looks like I just found my co-conspirator for avoiding the don't die single in 2025 prophecy. What's your take on beating the odds? That's the core loop, swipe, match, AI text, AI video. Knew it. Love a good challenge, especially with a confident partner in crime. So what's our first move to make 2025 single free? And because we built this cleanly, you could later extend this with Superbase Auth, real profile storage, message persistence, and a full feed of generated profiles. I also connected my GitHub to this so I can create a new repo. You can also save this and push any changes back and forth. So that's Don't Die Single in 2025, a swipe app prototype where your matches generate video replies. This isn't about shipping the perfect app on day one. It's about how quickly you can turn a concept into something that's interactive and honestly, something kind of addictive. If you want to try Duolight, I'll drop the link below in this video description. And if you want me to extend this into a production ready version with Superbase and persistent chats, tell me in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.